Hey guys, Carla Nicole, not going to be on here long, but I wanted to drop something to you guys really quick. You know, um, currently I'm doing the acts of self-love. I talked about um, self-loving being more than just pampering ourselves and taking ourselves out to eat and going out to the spa. Hey, William. So I want to talk about um, self-love in a different mindset. You know, a lot of times we talk about loving of self and, and shining on loving oneself and all of that. It's easy to talk about. It's easy to say that, you know, we're loving ourselves. But I want to give you guys different ways to um, inspire your love for self without only focusing merely on taking yourself out to eat and self-care acts where you go out and you get groomed up, you get prettied up, you get your nails done and all that. That's all fun and, and okay. But I want to go into the soul because, you know, the soul is what is most important. Yes, it's fine and cool and dandy to... Um, do those things go on vacation you know have a spa night all of that that's all great but what's important is how do we make sure that we're replenishing ourself is very very important so um, act number three for self-love is self-knowledge self-exploration are you exploring yourself this isn't hard to do, but it's very, very important that you do it. <laughs> When's the last time you explored yourself? You know, a lot of times we watch TV and we watch different celebrities. Uh, I got a lot of gentlemen on here, so I'm going to pick on y'all a little bit. Y'all like to watch all sports and you like to see what athlete is doing what and how good he is and what's his next plan and what's his goals. So, you know, y'all y'all watch Sports Center and all that. You like the interviews and, and the talk about different athletes. Well, ladies, we're into um, other things. Like we like to learn about what's the net the next newest trend. What's what's people, you know, focusing most on um, in the celebrity life. And that's all cool. But you need to sit down and have an interview with you. You know, it's important that we understand that fundamentally it's easy to want to get to know other people it's very intriguing to learn our, about our love interest about what's new with our kids you know what's new what's the new and upcoming stuff going on that's all well and fine but you need to get more in touch with you what is upcoming for you what are you into what are you empowered to do what is fulfilling you when you're by yourself alone nobody's around are you still able to be fulfilled are you still able to be excited thankful i mean really we got to think about this stuff because this is a, this is very important so i want you guys to start exploring you interviewing you finding out what you really want to do what is it you are what are you excited about think about it very important because outside of everything else you know we can learn about everybody else but it's very important that we get busy on learning ourselves and exploring who we are you know uh, we think we know ourselves but if we're not exploring and challenging ourselves or jumping into a pool of unknown doing something we're uncomfortable to do we're not going to grow because we're only going to stay stagnant because there's no room for growth we know it already we do it already so when you challenge yourself to learn a new side of yourself or learn something new that you never knew any, anything about you find yourself like damn I actually have a liking for this I'm kind of excited about this I'm kind of wanting to learn more about this and when you're doing that you're learning more about you you're learning what makes you tick you're learning what makes you excited so many people talk about sex and 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 you know I'm a sex educator so I'm all well and fine with that sex is a beautiful thing but 
What I really want you guys to get excited about is life. Sexual energy and all of that is beautiful, man. Let, let me tell you. But outside of that, there's more to life than just that. There's more to, to life than just being concerned about infidelity and if he's going to cheat or she's going to cheat on me or not. Got to you got to expand your mind beyond beyond just sexuality. And trust me, I'm about educating about that, yes. But I want us to expand our mind and think about what moves you. What gets you excited? What makes you want to get up and jump up out of bed in the morning? What makes you want to get excited about life, about being here? Do you know? <laughs> Have you taken the time out to get to really know what it is that excites you and ignites your flame? Remember... I tell y'all all the time, it's about shining on, loving oneself. You got to shine, but you got to get your light, you got to get your light, your, your, your flame ignited again. We get so caught up in routine and the humdrum of life and we just go and do and be and go and do and be every day. I jump out of bed at 5 o'clock. I'm excited. What am I going to do today? What am I going to learn today? Get curious. When you were little, what were you excited about? Do you remember? I take a I take a stroll if I were you down memory lane real quick. See what made you excited. See see what made you want to get back into the realm of being childlike again. Do you even remember what made you laugh? Hell, when's the last time you laughed? <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying. So you got to get back to exploring you. Once you get back to that, ain't nothing like it because it's exciting. You want to get empowered. You want to get excited. I mean, and beyond that, once you get excited about life, ain't nothing like it, man. I'm telling you because life is so full of joy outside of relationships. Outside of sexuality, yes, all of that's great, but life is more than that. Once you find out what makes you tick, jump into the pool of unknowns. When's, when's the last time you jumped into something you had no clue how to do? I mean, really, think about it. When's the last time you did something that made you uncomfortable? I mean, really, you got to think about this stuff. A lot of times we don't because we think about we want to be comfortable in life. Okay. But you're not challenging yourself and you're not growing. I tell y'all all the time, I'm always growing. I'm always busy. I'm always learning. I'm always researching. I'm always trying to get better at what I do. I don't get all caught up in trying to, you know, get in a relationship. That's not what I'm motivated to do. I'm motivated to change the planet. I don't want to die. I want to be immortal. So that takes something beyond just, you know, living and existing. It takes more than that. So I'm constantly busy, constantly busy, constantly focusing, constantly learning, constantly challenging myself, constantly doing something I'm uncomfortable with doing. Always. And, um, as far as I'm concerned, as long as I got breath in my body and days that I can still be here, I'm going to make sure that I do the work. It's just what it is. Make sure you share this video. Somebody needs to hear it. And if you are not a part of my YouTube channel, I need you to go over there, Carla Nicole Wisdom Channel, and subscribe. Also, uh, it's very important that you get your flame lit get lit stay lit it's carla nicole i'm signing off best kept have a good day guys bye